Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today I'm going to show you some services to stop within Windows 10 or 11 that can possibly enhance your performance or maybe even protect your privacy a little bit. But first, a quick word from me. So quick heads up here, guys. I do have an Amazon affiliate link, which you can find down in the description of this video. Now, what's that mean? An Amazon affiliate link, basically, when you click that link, if you look up here in the URL, you can actually see my username for my link. Now, when you click my link and come here, you can search out anything you want, like I've previously searched computer motherboards. Now, if you buy anything in here using my link, whether it's motherboards or just everyday stuff, it will actually give me credit and earn me a little bit of commission. I'm not a millionaire off of this stuff. It's very little, but it does help me keep content coming because I can buy hardware and different software and show you guys that. So I'm just asking when you shop on Amazon, click that link, shop through my link and give me that credit. And again, more information down in the description below. Okay, I'm done with this shameless plug. Now onto the video. Okay, guys, like I said, I'm going to show you some services to stop in your Windows 10 or 11 system that can possibly enhance your performance um, and maybe even protect your privacy. And I know that's important to us all. So what we're going to do here in your Windows computer, you just need to open up services. Um, for me, I'm running Windows 11. I'm just going to click start and type services and go ahead and open that up. Uh, for you, if you're on Windows 10, it should be about the same thing. Just uh, search for services. You should be able to find that. So the first one that we're actually going to talk about today is going to be Assigned Access Manager service. So let's scroll down here. We find that right away. Now, over here, it gives you a little bit of a description that this service supports kiosk experience in Windows. So most of us don't need this as regular home users. If you're a business setting up kiosks for others to computer or access computers or uh, internet, stuff like that, that's probably what this is for. So we do not need this as a home user. And right now it is not running. It is just set to manually run when I tell it to. But I'm going to just right click this. Actually, if you double click it, it will open up another box here. Um, and then startup type, we're going to change from manual to just completely disable this. And once we disable that, you're going to click apply and hit OK. And now this will never be an issue. Not that it was for me anyway. Some of you may see that uh, enabled and running, uh, but that is how you stop that. OK, the second one that we're going to look at is called connected user experiences and telemetry. Now I've done Let's find it first before I ramble on about that. Connected user experiences and telemetry. Here we go. Um, I've done a video on using your firewall to block telemetry data and stuff like that. But this is also a good thing to do. This is the portion of this that kind of protects your privacy. Now, everything else that we stop, if it's running in the background, it could potentially be taking up some RAM or some CPU, stuff like that. And that is where the whole possible enhancement of performance comes in. But if you have a high-end machine uh, with a lot of RAM and a good CPU, probably shouldn't be a problem, but it's always good to stop things you don't need anyway. Okay, so this connected user experience and telemetry, uh, let's go ahead and double click on that. And right here, it'll give you the same description as it does over here. But all in all, basically, this just uh, is uh, responsible for uh, collecting and transmitting um, telemetry data. And we don't want that because we don't want Microsoft spying. So same kind of thing. Mine is, mine is actually running. And we're just going to click this and we're going to disable it, apply, and OK. And then that one is no longer a problem. Now, this next one is called Diagnostic Execution Services. Let's come down here and find that. Now, you see this Diagnostic Execution Service. And then there's a few diagnostic stuff under here, and they're all running except for this one. This one needs to be manually triggered. Now, if you are running Windows 10 and you still want diagnostic actions, just go ahead and leave this running. That's fine. Um, but if you're on Windows 11, 
Microsoft actually does not support this in Windows 11 from what I understand. So we're going to go ahead and turn these all off. Going to double click, going to disable, apply, OK. And then I'm just going to, let's see if I can right click. Yeah, I could, but we're going to go into all these. Double click, disable, apply, OK. All the diagnostic ones here, guys, there's a total of four. And we're just going to disable all of those. And actually, um, yeah, since these are still running, I'm just going to stop them as well. Okay, so they all stopped under one. So it's kind of like a branch type deal. So yeah, that is the diagnostic execution service. All right, guys, next we're going to go down to geolocation service. Don't have to go too far here. Did I pass it? Nope, it's right there. And on mine, it is running. Now, a quick note about geolocation service. This service is basically responsible for like determining the physical location of your computer. It enables things that are location-based features on apps like maps, weather, stuff like that, um, and any other service that require your geographical location uh, to function properly. So the question comes up, do I need it? Well, it depends. You do need it if you rely on location-based services or apps. Like if you're using some map stuff and, and stuff like that, yeah, you will need this. So you might not want to disable it. Um, you do not need this if you never use those types of services or apps. Uh, you can disable it, but keep in mind it might prevent some apps from functioning correctly. If you do disable it, you won't be able to use certain features that depend on your device's location. So um, it may also improve your privacy by limiting the amount of location data shared. So just keep that in mind, and this one is up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as is because I do use some of that stuff and it comes in handy for me. So you make the decision on that one, but if you want to disable it, it's the same thing. Just double click it, drop down the startup type, hit disable, apply, and OK. All right, guys. And last but not least, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom here. Now I'm on a PC. As you can see, this Xbox stuff. I don't need anything Xbox related for my PC. I don't even own an Xbox outside of here. I'm a PlayStation guy. So all of this Xbox stuff, even though it's not running, we can just manually disable this stuff. I can learn how to click disable, apply. Then we're going to keep doing more that's disabled. Able to apply. So yeah, I know that um, I know that some people may use this. I just don't. So for me, even though it's not running, I just don't need to see it in there. Okay, and that is it. So that is the five that I have for you today. I'm sure that there are more services out there, and maybe if this video does good, I'll do another one with some more services that can be disabled but that is all i wanted to show you guys today those five services that could possibly enhance your performance and maybe even protect your privacy guys if this was helpful to you click that thumbs up and it might be a good idea to subscribe as well because i put videos out like at least once a week thanks guys